I'm Brian Redman. I'm curator of archaeology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, and we're here at the Burl Orchard site in Sheffield Village, Lorain County, Ohio. This is the location of our summer field school program called Archaeology in Action, and we'll be here for a total of four weeks working on a large site that is a prehistoric Native American settlement that we think is about 4,000 years old. This site is located near the Black River, and there's lots of natural resources that would have been available to the Native Americans. Uh, there were deer in the area. We know that we found uh, butchered deer bone and pieces of antler. We even found the hide smoking pits that they dug in the ground to smoke the hides that they were preparing here. Our excavations are finding stone tools, food remains, and other things that were left behind by the Native Americans that came here in some force, probably a number of families that came every year, uh, settled here maybe in the fall into the winter months, and uh, came back year after year. And the result of that is they left layer upon layer of debris, artifacts and other remains in the soil to uh, almost three feet deep. We first came here in 2008. That was our first field season at Burrell Orchard. And we found really deep deposits, what we call midden deposits, which are again the debris left behind by Native Americans coming and living here. And we wanted to come back this season and do more work in a particular area where we started and look for remains of house features or the floors left behind from the structures built by these people. We're also out in this field doing what we call shovel test excavation, where we dig small excavation units across this whole one acre area looking for little bits of artifacts and evidence of these midden deposits. And by doing that, we can get a good idea of the extent of the settlement, uh, how deep it runs, and get some good ideas of how the artifacts are distributed across the site. And this tells us about the different kinds of activities that went on when these Native Americans were at the site. We have one more week work at this site, and after that we'll take the artifacts and soil samples and all this information back to the museum, where we'll spend a number of weeks uh, cataloging, organizing, inventorying the collection, and then we'll use that to provide additional information about the prehistory of this area and what people were doing. We'll send off uh, samples for radiocarbon dating to figure out how old these deposits are. We send uh, plant remains off to specialists that identify the different species and tell us more about the foods they were eating. And we also analyze the stone tools and other artifacts left behind to learn more about exactly what they were doing here uh, and maybe how long they stayed each year. This Pearl Orchard site is somewhat unique in northern Ohio. Uh, for being such an old site, about 4,000 years old, it's quite extensive. And as I said, it has very deep uh, cultural deposits or midden deposits. And so far, we really haven't found a site just like it in northern Ohio. And no other site's been extensively excavated as what we've already done here. And we do plan to come back next year and, and following seasons to learn more about this place. And the museum members can take part in this. Uh, the Archaeology in Action program is open to uh, folks 18 years and older. You can come out and learn how to do field archaeology with no previous experience. You can work with us for one week, up to four weeks. And uh, all our field crew out here, most of the people, are taking this as a course to learn about how to do field work and learn about the prehistory of northern Ohio. Today we have another group that came out from the museum in an educational program about archaeology. These are fifth grade through seventh grade school kids that are coming out to just get a little taste of archaeology, to work with us in these small excavation units, learn to identify the artifacts, and they're learning more about what Native Americans were doing in this area 4,000 years ago.